Hi, I'm Tim McGarry from Epoxy Flooring Co. And in this video, I want to answer the question, is epoxy suitable as a waterproof membrane? In the last video, we asked the question, is epoxy waterproof? And for those of you who missed the video, you can grab a look at it by pressing on the link below. Uh, the quick recap is, yes, epoxy is waterproof. So for those that might have missed it, let me just give you a quick little demonstration here. This is a piece of epoxy that in the last video we actually made by letting it cure underwater. Um, now, in this little test, I've had it sitting in this little container of water here for the last two days. And that water level is exactly the same as when I first dropped it in a couple of days ago. So I was proving once again that it is technically a waterproof product. Uh, there's obviously a bit of definition about what, what is waterproof. So under the most extreme conditions, almost nothing is impervious to water, but epoxy over a period of time does show very good qualities about resisting water absorption as displayed in my little home test here. So how waterproof a particular uh, piece of epoxy might be depends on a few factors, such as uh, getting the right epoxy for the right environment. Should I use water-based epoxy? Should I use a solvent base? Should it be 100% solid? Um, the, the curing time and environment for the epoxy is very important to make sure that all of the, the polymers are linking correctly and that they weren't rushed in that process, for, for example. Uh, the surface preparation, has it been done properly? The thickness of the epoxy, is it been applied to the correct thickness based on the manufacturer's specifications? Has it been applied with the correct tools and the correct, te uh, correct technique, for example? So all of those factors affect just how waterproof it, it can be. But the question which I think is often not asked and it's super important is, would I use it as a waterproof membrane? Because it sounds attractive, but is it the best option for a, a particular environment? So as an example, uh, where we're based in Australia, in, in Queensland, I get inquiries regularly from people saying, I live in a block of units, uh, one of my unit balconies has tiles on it, and can you epoxy over the tiles um, to, to fix the problem. The problem usually being that the tiles or the membrane under them has started to fail and water would be penetrating through that balcony and down onto say a balcony below it, um, causing all sorts of pain and heartache for the people below them <laughs> and the unit owner, uh, or onto a common property. Um, I, like I get that inquiry so often. And so people might have even gone through the exercise of just the gentleman we spoke to yesterday had uh, an area around a pool and they were looking to take up tiles and put down epoxy because they'd got a quote for retiling the whole area which was a hundred thousand dollars so needless to say they were looking for something that was a bit more cost effective uh, so they came to me and said right can we do it for with epoxy well, yes, we can put epoxy down and we can make it, as, as displayed here in my little container, it appears to be waterproof. Would I use it as a waterproof membrane? So the answer with me generally is no. Uh, my biggest uh, issue with the limitations on epoxy as a waterproof membrane is, uh, you obviously can't feel this, but this thing is not flexible. It is very, very solid and has no flexibility at all. So it's subject to cracking and moving if the substrate, like the unit building, the slab around the pool, for example, want to move. If I have a, this down as a, a waterproof membrane over that substrate and there's movement, this will crack. Um, it's also subject over time to um, chemical attack. You know, if it's down for 12 months, it's probably not a concern. If it's been sitting next to a, a chlorine saltwater pool for 10 or 20 years, it would start to impact uh, that, that's, uh, that epoxy and, and its ability to, with, uh, to stop absorbing water. Um, another thing I find is, even though I can make it like a waterproof block, when we go to put it down, installers are not trained to 
uh, be waterproofers. In, in Australia, where I am based, <coughs> there are, are tradespeople who have done years of training, uh, are certified, licensed waterproofers. They specialise in keeping water out of areas where you don't want it. Um, that's not what epoxy installers do. We can put things down that just so happen to be waterproof, essentially, but they're not waterproof membranes. And a lot of the areas, such as a unit balcony, where people ask me to do it, they're very challenging to get into the tight spaces, though very often very geometrical shapes, which are not suited to screening epoxies that are curing quickly and getting them so that they form a seamless waterproof membrane. Um, when these go hard, remember too, there only has to be a crack of one, you know, a micron, like a human hair of width and water will find its way in there and create problems. So it'll create problems because the water will obviously be getting down perhaps on the units below it. Below it, it'll also create problems that could potentially delaminate the epoxy. And so um, there's a whole host of problems that are kind of come from that. So for a waterproof um, membrane to be effective, from uh, my understanding, there has to be a degree of flexibility to allow for movement in this on the in the substrate. Um, that's where bituminous membranes or um, liquid applied waterproofing comes into its own, especially when it's been installed by a licensed waterproofer. Um, a licensed waterproofer gives you certainty. Um, it can be appealing knowing the waterproof qualities of epoxy to think that it's going to be suitable for waterproof membrane, especially compared to the costs of removing tiles, removing waterproof membranes, replacing the membranes and then putting either tiles or an epoxy coating on top. Knowing just how good this is as a waterproof um, material, the, it's enticing, it's really attractive to think, I'll just put it over something and hope for the best. But really that's all you can do with this product. If you want to sleep well at night, you really need to unfortunately pay the money and get a waterproof, a licensed waterproof in to install a waterproof membrane that is suitable for your uh, application. They are the people that are trained, they are government certified, they're available, uh, they, they can give you the appropriate paperwork you need to say that this product is guaranteed and their license is depending on that guarantee and the success of that membrane. So this product might be good to uh, to eat well because you save some money, but if you want to sleep well, unfortunately, you need a waterproof membrane. So is epoxy waterproof? It can be. Would I use it as a waterproof membrane? Generally, no. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that is the cold hard facts about epoxy as a waterproof membrane. Use a licensed uh, waterproofing installer if you need that done. We'll see you on the next video.